Well, we're at the big shop tonight. We got Dave's big blazer on the lift. The old K5 got a big trans cooler mounted up right there. And uh, we're just about to stuff the old 700 R4 back in. And I actually had her up there and I noticed something. And this is just something to check, you know, anytime you're putting a trans in of any kind. If you got an old Bruce Jenner you're trying to put in, check your converter out. Make sure it looks good. Make sure it's right. Um, this one looks nice and painted and new, but I felt a little wet substance on it when I was going up into the blazer with it. And I started looking a little closer. If you'll notice right there, that's it's a little wet right there. Just a little. And you can tell someone's really going to town with a welder. So we're gonna put the air to her and you can just, you know, put a little pressure with a rag right there in here and kind of cover that up with a rubber glove or something and uh, if you've got any leaks or porous spots they're going to show up so i'm going to zoom you in and put a little air to it and see if you can see that leak coming out of there I mean, it's coming out just barely, but when it got hot and you put the pressure to it in the car, it made a big mess. So, it's always good to pressure test these things, because as you can see, it is a little porous right in there. Not so much here or over here, but over here. And if you put that in and then you run it, Without noticing that, man, that'll ruin your evening. So, yeah, stuff your rag on there, put your air checker on it, and make sure your converter's sealed up because it's pretty deep, especially in a four by four, if you get the whole thing in and then find out it's leaking. So just a quick tip when you're doing old trans. <laughs> 